Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat and I try in this tutorial I'll be showing you another way to color grade your images using Photoshop and this is going to be a more simpler way to edit and color grade your images to have nice and uniform skin tones. In my previous videos I was usually using the gradient maps to edit and color grade but in this we're just going to be using a very simple technique. So simply hit the like button on this video before we proceed with this video. And also don't forget to subscribe if at all you're watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel so you can see the before and after before after you can see how nice and uniform the skin tones have gotten to be in this case. So hoping that you have hit the like button on this video. Let's proceed with this very tutorial. So I'll just come and simply delete the color grading. So as you can first of all analyze the image, you can see that we have random colors. We have some yellows right here. Let me first of all demonstrate that. So we have some random colors over this image. We have some yellows in this area right there. We have some kind of dark tones, greens there. Then we have some magentas in that area. Then we have some more colors in this area. We have some magentas there. We have yellows was there, some greens there. So in this case, I'm just going to delete this. So we just want to create uniform skin tones or skin color for this model. So what we have to do, just come to the adjustments right here and simply come and select solid color. So when you select solid color, it is going to open up the solid color dialog window right there. So just come and make sure the sample is set to 5 by 5 average and sample is set to all layers and show sampling is also selected. And if at all your pointer is showing this icon right there, simply press the caps lock key on the keyboard to open up the eyedropper tool the way it is meant to be. So after doing that, uh, we are going to come back to our color picker adjustments right here. So after doing that, just come and hit OK. So you can see that it has applied this white color. So depending on the color that you have on these color swatches, it is the color that is going to display right here. So don't mind about that. So after doing that, just come and hide this layer. So just hide it by clicking on this visibility icon to hide it. Then double click on this layer or this color fill icon. So double click on it. Make sure it is selected and double click on it to open up the color picker tool once again right there and when that is done simply zoom into the image by using ctrl plus and simply choose a color that belongs to the mid-tones of the skin tone of the model so just choose a color that you feel is representing the mid-tones of uh, the model so i'll just go and choose a color so i'm just going to choose i think uh, this color represents the mid-tones of the model and hit OK. Don't mind, you can always come back and change these colors later on. So just come and hit OK. So after doing that, simply come and now activate the layer. And after activating it, the next thing is going to be simply come in the blend mode and change it from normal. And first of all, changing it to color. So just come and change it to color. And you can see it is going to apply the effect over the overall image so just come and select the white layer mask right here and press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard to invert the effect so just come to the brushes and right click and get the normal brush tool and simply make sure the hardness is set to zero percent and soft round brush is selected make sure the mode is set to normal opacity and the flat hundred percent and after doing that make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches and if at all you have any other random color apart from black and white you can press d on the keyboard d on the keyboard d for dog or d for doll so d is going to reset the colors to black and white and if at all you don't have that option you can as well use or left click on these two tiny swatches or tiny squares and make sure white is the foreground color so to switch between black and white you can simply use x or you can use this arrow key to use white as a foreground color. So remember in Photoshop, white is going to reveal and black is going to hide. So the effect of the color was hidden behind the black mask. So in order to reveal it, we are just going to simply get a brush tool after setting it and simply come and paint on the skin. So with the brush tool, 
we are simply going to come and paint on the skin of our model just like that so we're just going to come and paint on only the skin so just be careful as we're doing this so paint on every area that is all that contains skin in this case so i'm just going to come and paint on the neck area and by just doing this you can see that we have even and uniform skin color or skin tones for this model so I'll just come and paint on the skin just like that and paint each and every area that has skin so in order to be precise with the painting process I'll be showing you how you can identify the areas you may have missed out painting on the colors so I'm just going to show you that in a bit so let's just come and paint in those areas just like that like that like that and paint on the eye area so if at all you feel like you you are not comfortable with the painting process you can just come and briefly change the blend mode from color and change it all the way down to soft light and by just doing that you can see that we had not painted these areas so just come and paint those areas you can zoom in by using ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use command plus on the keyboard to zoom into the image and to increase or decrease on the size of your brush tool you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard so i'm just going to paint you can see that we had left out those areas so don't paint the eyebrows just paint on only your skin don't paint in the hair area so i'm just going to paint just like that come to the eyes and paint below on the eyelid come to the forehead and also paint so if I told you are enjoying the video, simply like this video. So I've finished painting. And if I told you make a mistake during the painting, you can switch the brush back to black. And black is going to rub the effect. So after painting, remember to come back and change the blend mode back to color. And you can see the image is looking nice. And it has that nice and matching skin tone. So it's the before, after. So when you feel like the color is not appealing to you, simply double click on this color right there to open up the color picker tool. And simply you can move this around and change it to the color of your liking. So I'll just come and use the given color so you can desaturate or increase on the saturation. So I'll leave mine all the way up to around a saturated image and hit OK. But this is not all because the skin tones now are leaning towards the greens or even the oranges so just come the adjustments here and simply come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer come to master and simply select the reds and you can come and turn down the lightness to add more contrast to the skin tone and after doing that just come and create a black and red adjustment layer right here and change the blend mode from normal and change it to multiply and simply reduce on the opacity of uh, that and after reducing the opacity if at all the effect is not appealing to you create one final color balance adjustment so by this we are simply going to come first of all to the shadows and we are going to cool down the shadows by adding you see when you cool down the shadows it's going to add that kind of magenta feel to the skin tone and it's going to make it look better and natural for this case so we're just going to come and also play around with the science so i'm just going to play around with the cyan values to around negative two then we're also going to come to the midtones and simply play around with the midtone slider so i think at around let's go with around three three looks okay and it looks fine so if I told you one proceed, you can play around and add maybe a little bit of magentas. Let's add a little bit of magentas to the image. So this is what we have right now. So if at all you feel like the image is overly saturated, you can simply double click on this here on saturation and come back to the reds and simply play around with the lightness values. So I'm just going to play around with the lightness values to around negative 25 is fine and is okay so right now we are done color grading this image and you can see right now we have even and uniform skin color or skin tones for 
this model so you can see the overall before and after this is the image before after before after you can see how nice and even the skin tones have gotten to be so this is how you can easily edit and color grade your images to have uniform skin tones using the solid color adjustment layer and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and seeing yet more videos on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating